just up there. That's the footpath that you should take, which apparently is closed. Gaz has a fully ripped his trousers. As you come to the top, it opens up into this like beautiful scenery. We're back. I'm Abby. And I'm Gaz. We met three years ago traveling the world where we then brought our love for adventure back to the UK. Well, for now anyway. Expect lots of outdoor activities, city escapes, crazy challenges. And loads of mistakes. Subscribe and let the adventure begin. Ooh. Ooh. Welcome back. We're out of lockdown. It's Easter Sunday and it's bloody sunny. The sun is shining. What Fine. a good day. What a good day. We're already so excited to get out. We have taken on one of your suggestions on board and we're going to go and explore Bamford Edge. We've got a picnic. It's literally stunning weather for March. So, oh no, it's April now. April. Easter weekend. So we're going to go and explore and see we're what it's like. We're going to get to the top of Bamford Edge. So we're at the train station, got the train from Manchester Piccadilly to Bamford and it took about 45, 45 minutes, 45, 50 minutes, it was about eight quid, so really cheap to get here and back. So we've arrived here, we're going to do standard Abby and Gaz, get the directions up on our phone and then just head, head on our way up now. I think so. you can see it from over there, so. Where is it? Oh, well, it should be. Oh, here, yeah. just there. We can literally see it. You can actually see it through the trees. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but. You can see a hill, Just, so. Well, yeah, it's it's up there. <laughs> can you see it on the camera? Yeah. It's just up there. So that's where we're heading now. We yeah. How long it'll take? About 50 minutes? I reckon so, 50 minutes to the top. Bamford train station you turn right and walk up the main road into Bamford there's quite a few ways of getting up to Bamford edge but we're taking a right at the Angler and then Angler go pub, yeah. Angler pub and then we're gonna go up and see where we head up to the top okay so when you get to the Angler's rest you need to go round the road but be careful when crossing the road Jesus <laughs> around this corner Gaz isn't it it's up there so you see. It looks uh, pretty steep right now where we're walking up, so I think we might get a bit of a sweat on in this weather. But usually you can <laughs> stop at the pubs, can't you? Oh There's yeah. There's like two or three pubs on the way that apparently are very nice, but obviously they're not open yet. Yeah, there was the Derwent and then the Angler the anglers, that, yeah. that we walked past. So obviously when things reopen, stop for a watering hole, a little pint, and maybe- A couple of, couple of pints before you make it up. Yeah, we're heading up now. So you've got a private road there, no access. That's the footpath that you should take, which apparently is closed, but <laughs> there's, there's pe there are people walking up and down it. So, I mean, we've walked up for about 20 minutes, so we should probably see, see if we can get up there. If not, we'll have to turn around and go all the way up the other way. I know, I can imagine us getting halfway up here though, and then it actually being Let's shut for a reason. Let's just go and see. Yeah. It's all part of the adventure, isn't it, Gaz? It is. What does it say? Just close by the council, half closed. So we've just been warned by some passers-by that it's open, but it's very steep. They said prepare for a sharp walk up. So we're ready, already out of breath, as you can tell. And it's a bit muddy, isn't it, Gaz? It is, but let's crack on. Yeah. Yeah, not gonna lie. Okay, so we've walked up this really steep hill. We've been walking for about half an hour, haven't we? Yeah, and then as you come to the top, it opens up into this like beautiful scenery and you can see the edge just up here. And if you're, if you're driving, you get to skip this walk <laughs> and you start there. So there's a car park there that you can, can drive straight up to, isn't there? Oh yeah, we'll literally walk past it. So if anyone doesn't want to do this huge hill or walk from the train station, you can just drive. And it's a really short walk, so. But it looks nice, doesn't it? It looks stunning. It's really nice we're weather. We're just having a uh, hydration break. Yeah, we're having a little chill out after the te steep hill. <laughs> we're not allowed to eat our lunch yet. No, wait until the top, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. The wind's picked up a bit 
out, hasn't it? So, yeah. trying to find a sheltered area. This is looking It'll good. Do. Perfect. Like a three round dinner. Which is? Very lunchable. Sponsored by them. <laughs> we, we have just had our lunch in the windy, <laughs> so windy. Fly. crisps were flying everywhere. Yeah. Salami <laughs> flapping in Abby's face. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> just hit you. Have I got chocolate my teeth start? No. Okay, one, um, we had Easter eggs. And we had Easter eggs. One top tip I'd say is find a picnic spot halfway up the hill because it's not as anywhere near as windy as this it is. This isn't that windy. We're not at the very top yet. At the yet. top it was bloody It was very vicious. Very, yeah, we're going to actually go up there and show you guys in just a second. However, I just wanted to let you know that Gaz has a fully ripped his trousers yeah, so not badly. Yeah, just like a little rip like from front all like, the way I can't, to back. I can't. Like, you probably put them on his two legs. Yeah. I'm going to have to take my jumper off and I won't be able to show you because it's, it'll be just be too explicit, won't it? It's, yeah. it's pretty bad. Good job I'm wearing <laughs> some new boxes my nan got me. <laughs> no one needs to know that. <laughs> well, if people are going to see, they should know. But anyway, we had a on nice little picnic. Little didn't picnic, we? and we're on to the big reveal of all the views. And we have to say, it's pretty darn nice, isn't it? Pretty nice picnic pretty, spot, isn't it? You yeah. Can see all of the, the Mount Everest range, <laughs> the Kimbu Icefall. Shut up. <laughs> Take your, bring a bag? take your rubbish home, people. Take your rubbish home. Don't be a <laughs> Take your f***ing rubbish home. Yeah. Ready to go to the top. views of Hope Valley, Lady Bow Reservoir, which is over that way, and then also Stanage Edge, which is behind us. So it's got which is three, also good. Which is also a fantastic walk. So 360 but views most here. Most people go to Stanage Edge, don't they? And leave this one. Yeah, this is not as popular, but I don't know why because it's really we'll nice. We have to go back to Stanage Edge because we've done that before. But about an hour up from Bamford train station. We're going to head back down now because it's very windy at the top, but it's still much nicer when you come back down. Yeah. As we walked down the hill, Gaz awkwardly covered the huge rip in his trousers by fashioning the rucksack as some kind of skirt. <laughs> Safe to say we got some very funny looks. Just had to like make our way back down that really steep hill. Yeah, it which was... is it's actually surprisingly hard to go down the hill. Yeah, I would say the walk's not... If you come from Bamford Station, it's not easy because it is quite far uphill, but obviously you can drive to the bottom and it's not too bad. So it's, you could do all levels, but it's not, yeah. it's not an easy, Don't easy walk. Don't go up that, that steep hill. is not the easiest, is it? No. And going back down, it's like you're stopping yourself from running, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, alarm. It's got an alarm going off for some reason. Let's put that on. We were saying... Um, you need to time it quite perfectly because there's only one train per hour so make sure you check on the way home if you're getting the train when to go back down for because last time we were here we were running we were sprinting weren't we? weren't we because there was there wasn't one the next hour so we'd have had to sit in the cold with no toilet for two hours but yeah. today we've timed it a lot better yeah so we'll be back probably just in time for the train won't we we need yeah. to get probably a move on now the battery died the battery just died <laughs> but yeah we would highly recommend and we're going to head back now but make sure you hit the subscribe button because we've got some really exciting things coming because up because we can leave the house out of lockdown so we've got some sick. fun things in planned coming up Good. and we'll see you next week for next week's adventure bye it's snowing loads honestly it's probably the most it's snowed in the last couple of years that we've seen yeah it's been going for ages and it's very slippery and very snowy now actually the easier route obviously compared to the scrambling that we did <laughs> <laughs> trains in two minutes <laughs> Okay, getting nervous now. <laughs> <laughs>